When I ask people to play scales for me, they often can play two notes per bow, four notes per bow, maximum eight notes per bow, and that's actually it. They can't go any further. Of course, to play scales on a professional level takes time, patience, and dedication. So in today's video, I will reveal two key elements that will help you to increase the speed when playing scales. Before we continue with this lesson, if this is the first time you come across my videos or this channel and you enjoy my work, then consider to subscribe. Now, I will play a scale the way that many people play for me and take a good look at my left hand. Maybe you'll figure out the problem. Did you notice what went wrong? Anyway, now I will play the scale the way I play and the way you should do as well. And if you do exactly as I say, after a while, you will start to dominate scales and a faster speed. Let's go.
Now about leaving your fingers on the fingerboard, many teachers, including cello methods, like the ones from Dotsauer, they oblige their students to hold all the fingers on the fingerboard, even if you're moving to another string. Me personally, I never understood that. And when I ask why, until now, so until this day, no one could give me a convincing explanation. So if you know the reason why we need to hold the fingers, all the fingers on the fingerboard, please let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, applying these things that I have mentioned before are crucial. So really do that and you will see that in no time your level will increase. So that was it for today's lesson. And in the next video, which is going to appear on the end screen, you can watch a longer lesson where I talk about scales and break things down. Very, very, very useful for beginners and advanced cellists. So I'll see you there in the next video. Bye bye.